With each passing year, it seems that video games just keep getting better and better. More creativity, bigger worlds, improved graphics. But when I open the box of a new game, there's an empty feeling deep inside. Almost like something's missing. The manual! Growing up, you tear that game open before you even got home because there was a special treat waiting inside. Something to whet your appetite before the main course. I always loved these and I'd read them cover to cover. They were awesome! But why? It was just a waste of paper, right? No! The manual was extremely important. It built up your anticipation to play the game and it was your entry point into the game's world. The best thing that manuals did was tell you the story. In the 8-bit era, games rarely had intricate stories. But by reading the manual, you could gain an understanding for the characters, their motivations, and the bad guys. It was supplementary to the game, and it still left room for interpretation and using your imagination. In the original Mario Bros. for NES, the manual reads that Mario is maybe the hero of the story? Take that for what you will, but for me, it sounds like Mario is trying to steal the princess from her husband, the Koopa King. The story continued to be told in the manual, even during eras where it could be told with in-game cutscenes. You'd still get the general overview, but it also would provide little details about the characters that may be completely irrelevant to the game. Like in Turtles in Time, did you know that Donatello is the slowest character? Well, that's because he's been snacking on too much pizza these days. Or that Masan from Unjammer Lammy, she likes to read about mysticism. These types of useless facts add a tiny bit more depth to the game world, and you get that backstory on specific characters. There is also plenty of info about game items, weapons, and the enemies you'll encounter. Because without it, who would have known what this guy's name was? Oh, it's just Skeleton. One of my favorite manuals is for The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. It had so much to read about, but the best part was the beautiful artwork that was inside. In those days, the characters rarely looked like they did in the manual, so it helped you envision how the characters should look. This helped shape how we view the characters we love, because how many people have this image pop into their head when they think of Samus? Probably not as many who are thinking of something like this. And that's how she was shown in the game manual, doing things like she would do in the game. The most obvious reason as to why manuals are useful is that it would show you the controls to the game. This would come in clutch, because then you would need less time to get used to learning the buttons. You memorized that on the car ride home and you were prepped to jump right in. Mortal Kombat would give you a few moves in the manual, but you knew there were more, so it was exciting to try and figure out the others on your own, and you even had space to write them down once you figured it out. Manuals were also chock full of hints and tips. Like in Earthworm Jim 2, it says to loosen the lug nuts on a tire before you elevate it with the jack. Uh, that doesn't seem related to the game. Which brings me to my next point. The manuals were full of jokes and it felt more lax in the words that were chosen, as if it were a person actually talking to you. It could be very lighthearted, even if the game itself wasn't. Take any Wario game manual, for example. It would be written in his voice, so it was often crude, but hilarious. I don't exactly remember when manuals started getting phased out, but I really started to notice it when all you got was little pieces of paper that were advertisements or some sort of safety warning. I don't need that. Some of you may be saying, why the hell would we need manuals today? Everything is digital. You can get this info online. Plus, we should think about saving the trees. Well, I say fooey to all that. There is more of a reason now than ever to have a comprehensive manual. Because video games these days all need to do one thing before you play. Install the damn thing! And while you're waiting, you might as well wait in style. Yes, it's easy to make the case that manuals aren't really necessary. All the things can be done now in the game itself, and you're 100% right. But the art, the useless info, the funny dialogue were all a little cherry on top of the gaming experience, and it's something that I really miss. Some new games made by indie developers will include an extensive manual, like with Shovel Knight or Hyper Light Drifter. It makes the whole experience feel special and complete. I know I'm not alone in this, so what are your favorite game manuals? Do you wish they'd come back? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and remember, it's all fun and games.